51, which of the following molecules have the highest boiling point? Is it answer choice A, hexane? Is it B, octane? Is it C, neopentane? Is it E, which is pentane, that's a five carbon chain? Or is it answer choice D, that's 2-methyl butane? So which one of these alkanes have the highest boiling point? Now all of these alkanes, they're nonpolar. They only have CH bonds. As a result, they don't have any hydrogen bonding. They're not polar, so they don't have any dipole-dipole interactions. They only have LDF, London Dispersion Forces, also known as Van der Waal Forces. These are temporary induced, temporary induced interactions. Polar molecules have permanent dipoles. Nonpolar molecules, they have temporary induced dipole interactions. So which one is it going to be? Now, there's two things you need to look at. Number one, the molecular weight. As the molecular weight increases, as you add more carbon atoms to the chain, the amount of van der Waal forces is going to increase, and so the boiling point is going to be higher. So the longer the chain, the higher the boiling point. So just by looking at that, we know that answer choice B is the correct answer. Now what about branching? When you have branching in the case of neopentane, the area of contact, or you can think of it as a surface area, it decreases. And with less area of contact, you have less van der Waal forces. And so the boiling point goes down. For these types of questions, if you want to find the structure with the highest boiling point, you're looking for the alkane with the highest molecular weight and with the least amount of branching, or the alkane that is straight chain with the highest molecular weight, and that's going to be octane. Now, just to put some numbers in perspective here, the boiling point of alkane, I mean alkane, of octane is 100 and 26 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the highest. The second highest is hexane. It's a straight chain alkane. And the boiling point for that is 69 degrees Celsius. For pentane, it's 36 degrees Celsius. Now looking at answer choice C, D, and E, these are all five carbon chains. Two methyl butane has a boiling point of about 28 degrees Celsius. As you can see, it's lower than pentane due to the branching. Neopentane has the lowest of the boiling points here. It's about 10 degrees Celsius. So the structure with the highest molecular weight is going to have the highest boiling point. And the one that also has a straight chain has the highest boiling point. Branching reduces the boiling point because it reduces the area of contact between the molecules. If you were to stack another octane molecule on top of the first one, you can get a nice visual representation that will help you to see the effect of the area of contact on the boiling point. As the area of contact increases, the van der Waal interactions between these two molecules that's going to increase. So you're going to have more van der Waal forces holding these two molecules together as the area of contact goes up. As a result, the boiling point is going to be higher. More thermal energy will be needed to separate these two molecules so that they can escape the liquid phase and enter the gas phase. So that's why as the molecular weight increases, as you add more atoms to the chain, there's more area of contact, the van der Waal forces go up, and the boiling point increases. More energy is needed to break those bonds. Now for those of you who are interested in getting the full video with all 90 practice problems, feel free to check the description section below this video.